Hello everyone, welcome to D4 Drupal channel. Today we are going to see about how to alter a view result before the render array is getting generated. Okay, so for that, what we are going to do, we are going to implement a hook called hook views pre render. So uh, this, this hook you can use when you want to alter the render array configuration. Um, no. This will be having your argument of views executable object. Let's go to your custom module and create it. Implements. And namespace you have to add of view executable. So this is the only argument we have for uh, this particular hook. And function custom views pre render of class name dollar view open close and here we are going to uh, attach one uh, js file which I already created custom dot js and also I'm going to change the title of the view and we have to add uh, the view id and the display as a condition to this particular uh, function so that this will be getting affected for that particular uh, view so this is the view which we already created content type and path so this is the view i'm going to add condition for only this view so you have to add a condition for view machine name If dollar mu stands to id equal to equal to the view name content listing view, and also I'm going to add one more condition of uh, the display what display it should affect view stands to get display tends to display of id the id should be page underscore one so add page underscore one this will be affected only for that particular uh, page just give exit and make sure this is getting called since we implemented new hook you have to clear the catchy i am on that page Let's go and clear the catchy. You can see the exit is working now. So the condition is correct, what we wrote here. And next, you have to add a JS library. Now that you have to add it in the element of ash of attached. Library equal to the library name module name slash library name. Now we added this JS file. So this JS file, I don't have any uh, content, any code here. Only I added uh, alert function in the ready. So let's go and refresh. Now the alert should work now. You can see the alert is working, which means the JS file is getting loaded now. Okay. So next, uh, what we are going to do, we are going to change the title of that page. So views tends to set title um, our custom title okay so we change the title in this code so the current title is all content go and refresh now so let's clear the catchy and check So 
So now you can see the page title is changed, our custom title as we uh, wrote here. So this is how you have to use custom view pre-render function to alter your view result. And that's it about today's video. If you like the video, please share, like, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye.